enzymes are usually large protein molecules. They speed up reactions. Imagine this is amylase. It helps break down starch into smaller maltose molecules. Without an enzyme holding the large molecule in position, this reaction would be extremely slow. But is the activity of salivary amylase affected by temperature? A measured amount of starch solution is placed into three test tubes. These are immersed in water and are kept at different temperatures, 5, 20 and 35 degrees Celsius. The same amount of salivary amylase is then placed in each. As soon as the amylase comes into contact with starch, it'll begin to break the starch down. A spotting tile containing a reddish-brown solution of iodine will help monitor the reaction. After one minute, a drop of each solution is added to the iodine. First the one at 5, then at 20, and finally the solution at 35 degrees C. Iodine turns blue-black if starch is present. Another minute later and the solutions are tested again. This time the amylase in the warm solution has already converted all the starch into sugars. As time goes by, the starch in the other test tubes is gradually broken down. After three minutes, starch only remains in the coldest solution. It may be several minutes before a change is observed at 5 degrees C. At what temperature does the action of amylase appear to work best? Enzymes are made of protein. If the surrounding temperature is too high, the molecules denature. The shape of the protein changes. See what effect this has on its activity. What might happen if the amylase and starch solution is kept at 60 degrees Celsius?